Welcome to our introduction to the Peachtree Connection Wizard. The Peachtree Connection Wizard will take you step by step through all of the required factors that allow the two programs to properly integrate together. Be sure that ESE has been properly integrated with Peachtree using the accounting server. You can refer to our other video, Connecting ESE to Peachtree, for specific information. To begin, Go into your ESE database and click on the File pull-down menu and choose the Peachtree Connection Wizard. Most likely, you have run through the first couple of screens to connect your ESE to Peachtree, but we will briefly review them again. The first screen that displays will require you to enter in the name of the computer on which the accounting server is running. This can easily be found at the top of the accounting server utility. Enter the name or the IP address in the provided field and click Next. The next screen will display the message, the connection to Peachtree was successful, if everything was in line and ESC was able to communicate with Peachtree. If you receive this message, click Next to begin matching all necessary data and settings between the programs. Otherwise, you may receive an error that states, could not connect to Peachtree. One of the required default GL account numbers is not set up in Peachtree. To get past this message, you must switch over to Peachtree and go into the Options pull-down menu, Default Information, and choose Inventory Items. Next, click on the GL Accounts slash Costing tab and enter an account number for all three fields for the non-stock item fields. This is required in order for the ESC software to integrate. Once done, switch back over to the ESC and click the Next. The next screen will display the message, the connection to Petri was successful, if everything was in line and ESC was able to communicate with Petri. If you receive this message, Click Next to begin matching all necessary data and settings between the programs. Chart of Accounts Matching in the Peachtree Wizard The next screen will take you through matching the chart of accounts between ESE and Peachtree. Click Next. Accounts that you must have in both programs are Accounts Receivables, Sales Tax Payables, and Undeposited Funds. These are mandatory accounts that make the integration work properly. The Match of Chart of Accounts screen will display two columns. The left side is the list of ESC accounts, and the right side is the Peachtree accounts. The goal here is to either match or add all of the ESC accounts to Peachtree. We do not need to add or match all Peachtree accounts into ESC because you will not be able to use the vast majority of these accounts into ESC anyway. So, Starting with the ESC left side of accounts, select an account and, if the one you want to match to already exists in Peachtree, click on it within the Peachtree list and then click on the Match button between the columns. As accounts are matched, they will drop off each list. If you have an ESC account that does not exist in Peachtree, you can add it by selecting it and then click on the Add Account to Peachtree button at the bottom of the ESE column. Repeat this process until the ESE column is blank and no longer contain any accounts. Select any accounts you need from the Peachtree side and click on the Add Select Account to the ESE. Account numbers in ESE are inherited from Peachtree whenever the accounts are matched together or whenever an account is added from Peachtree into ESE. Again, remember, you should not add all of your Peachtree accounts into ESC as you cannot use most of them in ESC, and adding useless accounts will slow down your posting routine. Once the ESC side is blank and all need accounts from Peachtree have been added to ESC, click Next. Matching Vendors in the Peachtree Wizard Click Next at the Synchronize Vendors between ESC and Peachtree screen to allow the wizard to compare vendors lists. The matching screen is similar to the screen for the chart of accounts matching. The goal is also the same, to match or add all vendors that exist in ESC to Peachtree. You do not have to add all vendors that are in Peachtree to ESC if they will not be used in the ESC side. Based on your integration setup, you'll be presented with one of the four scenarios. 
If you are using ESC for the first time and haven't entered any vendors, then all you have to do is click the Import Vendors button and ESC will get all of your vendors from Peachtree. If you have vendors only in ESC but not in Peachtree, there would be just an Export Vendors option to click on which will add all ESC vendors into Peachtree. If you have one or more vendors in both ESC and Peachtree, then you'll be able to match the ones that are the same by selecting them from each column and clicking the Match button. New in version 12 is the Add All Remaining button that quickly adds all unmatched vendors to the other program. Click Next when all ESC vendors have been matched or added to Peachtree. The next phase of the integration wizard involves matching or adding tax codes between the programs. This is the first of a two-part process with the first part comparing the tax codes within ESC to what is in Peachtree. If an ESC tax code does not exist in Peachtree, you will need to manually add the tax code in Peachtree and then refresh the screen. If the code does exist in Peachtree, but the tax rate or the vendor is different, instructions will display on the screen to direct you on how to correct this. Once all ESC tax codes are either added or matched to Peachtree, click Next. This part of the tax code matching will allow you to import tax code that exists in Peachtree but not in ESE. For each tax code to import into ESE, you will need to select the appropriate sales tax account that you want the sales tax to be sent to in Peachtree. The sales tax payable account is typically the account that is selected for this purpose. Continue to add tax codes that appear in the list. Once all tax groups are matched between the programs, you will be able to proceed with the integration process. Click Next. Customers Matching in the Peachtree Wizard. Click Next on the Synchronized Customer between ESC and Peachtree screen to begin the matching process. When integrating an existing Peachtree database to a brand new ESC company, if there aren't any customers entered into the ESC database, the integration will allow you to import all Peachtree customers. Note, once an option is selected here and the import occurs, the process cannot be reversed without creating a new ESC company database to use. Now, if your ESC database has even one customer that was entered, you will not get the option to import all customers. Instead, you will have the option to add or match customers from either side, as you could with the Chart of Account and Vendor Matching screen. When there are just records remaining on one side or the other, you can then click Add All Remaining to add the remaining customers easily to the other program. It is not necessary to match all customers, and if you have a lot to go through, you can do some now, exit out of the wizard, and resume it later. Synchronize Jobs in the Peachtree Wizard if you are using job IDs in Peachtree to track your income and expenses for each project your company undertakes, then the next part of the wizard will allow you to import those jobs into ESC. Simply click the Import Jobs button. However, this is optional, which means if you are using jobs in Peachtree but you do not want to import them into ESC, you can press the Next button to bypass this process. Once you are complete with the importing of jobs, Click Next and you will be able to import inventory items from Peachtree into ESC. Two things to note about this screen. One, this utility will import all of your stock inventory parts from Peachtree items list into ESC. Items that are marked as inventory assembly, service, or non-inventory parts will not be imported. Second, during this process of importing, we only import the parts themselves and do not import part quantities. This is because you would manage inventory in ESC exclusively and just post financials to Peachtree. You will need to manually receive your part quantities and costs into ESC. This process is thoroughly detailed in our help documentations within ESC. All you have to do is click on the Help pull-down menu up top and choose Help Topics and search for the keyword Backload. The next screen will add or match employees between both programs. If an employee is in one program and not the other, you can add it by clicking the Add Selected Employee button on the bottom. If the employee exists in both sides and you need to match them, 
simply click on the employee on the left side, then on the right, and then click the match in the middle. When matched, the employee will drop off both lists. Again, this is the same as the chart of accounts, vendors, and customer matching screens. If there are no employees in one program, you will be able to import the entire list from the other in one easy step. After employees are matched between programs, you can use the post time to payroll feature in ESE that allows you to post dispatch time information to the timesheets for use with P3 Payroll. This post time to payroll process is explained in great detail within the ESE help system. Congratulations! You have now completed the Peachtree Connection Wizard. For more information on ESE's integrations with Peachtree, please continue with the tutorial videos in this section.